Mensen in de bush of ja, die hun huis verloren hebben, die, die wonen nog steeds in caravans eigenlijk. De fire kwam around both sides of that mountain. Um, firstly on this side, where it went through across behind that ridge line over there, all the way through to the Princess Highway at Korma. At that point we were pretty much um, surrounded. We were uh, we had no way of getting out. The weirdest thing was just after the fires, how um, quiet it was. There was just no sound. There was just nothing. Um, and all you could hear was every about half hour or so, uh, a gunshot as one of the local cattle was shot. We wonen echt in the bush. Dus uh, um, voor ons huis wisten we wel dat ja, dat is een heel groot risico. Maar niemand had het zien aankomen dat het echt naar de town zou komen ook. Een um, hoop mensen die waren ook niet verzekerd. En, ja, dat is heel ingewikkeld. Mensen in de bush of ja, die hun huis verloren hebben, die, die wonen nog steeds in caravans eigenlijk. Maybe my bones will be in the ground by the time this gets built. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's pretty sad to look at. It's depressing. Very, very many people gave to a bushfire relief fund. Uh, I think we're, we're talking big millions. And the government has not used any of it. All they've done is collect the interest. That's all they've done. I mean, there was an enormous amount of money donated. People wanted to help, um, but none of that money's really made its way down to practical things on the ground. Um, there's a huge amount of uh, money being spent on uh, mental health, but uh, having a house is a mental health solution, right? Um, and most people don't have a house. Once COVID hit and people were very focused understandably on the is issue around COVID and their own circumstances, that the spotlight fell off the bushfire communities and so that people tell me that they do feel left behind and they feel forgotten. Abandonment I think is by far the, the dominant reaction, dominant emotion in this area. It's. Uh, uh, there is absolutely nobody coming to help. Right? It's what you can do yourself. What do you want from government right now? Um, well, I think they ought to spend the money that they've put aside for, for the um, recovery. If they were to just get homes up, I mean, at the moment, uh, not building homes is government-assisted suicide.